Hey everyone, uh, it's me Sujo over here. Um, so I'm making this late night video. So um, this video is specifically for my uh, Vietnamese audience. Uh, I'm going to keep the title of this video in Vietnamese. So um, I got an email from uh, one of my subscribers. Um, he is an African and uh, you know he's coming he's from an african country uh, i will not name from which country he's from so uh, you know he uh, talked about his experience um, here in vietnam um, in ho chi minh and how he was very um, he was very sad um, how he was being treated out here in um, in Ho Chi Minh in Saigon. Uh, I'm talking about racism. Okay, uh, this is a very sensitive topic. So he asked me to make a video. And I'm making this video for my Vietnamese audience and I'm going to put the title of this video as Are Vietnamese Racists? Okay. Are Vietnamese Racists? Okay. Now, I know this is a very sensitive, um, sensitive topic, but I feel like through my, with my channel, I need to talk about this. Okay. I need to let the Vietnamese people know that there is a problem um, uh, with with this with this thing, uh, racism. Okay, um, and I'm gonna also share my personal experience. Okay, so I'm just uh, it's a late night video and sorry. So if you don't know me, um, the name of my, if you don't know uh, about my YouTube channel, the name of my YouTube channel is called Sujo in Vietnam. I've been living over here in Vietnam for over seven years. Uh, I was an English teacher here in Vietnam for four years. Uh, then I started my online digital marketing uh, freelance business and I'm also a full-time YouTuber. So, yeah, I want to talk about this topic, okay? And it's very personal to me. Uh, are Vietnamese racists, okay? Now, it depends what kind of foreigners um, are, uh, like, you know, Viet the, in general, Vietnamese people like to, like to treat foreigners based on, um, you know, based on their nationality, um, and also, you know, like what kind of skin color you have, right? Now, if you don't know me, where I'm coming from, I'm from India, okay? I'm Ando. So, uh, I just want to, I just want to address this video, you know, uh, to the Vietnamese audience, you know. So, if you're a younger Vietnamese person or, you know, if you're a Vietnamese person watching this, I want you to uh, I want you to listen to this video with an open mind, okay? Because there is a problem with the Vietnamese society, okay? When it comes to treating different foreigners, okay? Now, uh, <clears throat> if you don't know what I'm talking about, <clears throat> you can check out one of my previous videos where I spoke about uh, is Vietnam a racist country? So you can check that out, okay? So because my channel is very um, is very straightforward okay it's upfront no bullshit okay if you want to uh, watch other youtubers only promoting Vietnam or travel uh, videos or food videos about Vietnam don't watch this video okay because I like to talk about my personal experience and so um, yeah, so I want to talk about this, all right? Uh, like my friend, he's from Africa. He had a bad experience out here in Ho Chi Minh and, you know, he had he left Vietnam, okay? 
So, uh, and of course, I felt sad about this and I want to talk about this, okay? Uh, yes, there is a problem of racism here in Vietnam. In general, Vietnamese people like to uh, be more friendly, be more friendly with foreigners <clears throat> who have uh, white skin, okay? But if you are, if you are from India, okay, uh, Ando, I have, I have, I've experienced this because I am from India, okay. Uh, they're not friendly, you know, your, you know, I don't see, I don't see Vietnamese people being friendly, okay. Uh, take for example, um, today I was in uh, District 1, okay, I was sitting in the park, a lot of people were sitting around opposite to Diamond Plaza, okay? Um, and, you know, I was sitting there and I could see a couple, I could see a couple of young Vietnamese people, Vietnamese, uh, you know, Vietnamese, young Vietnamese. They were staring at me, okay? And, um, you know, they were like looking at me like rudely, okay? They were not not with a smile, okay, but they were just giving me a bad stare, okay. Uh, so this is an example of, uh, this is an example that, you know, that Vietnamese people are not, are not used to all kinds of foreigners, okay. Uh, another example would be like, um, you know, it's just that I've been living here for so many years now in Vietnam. I don't have a single Vietnamese friend, okay? Uh, I am a very friendly person, okay? Um, you know, I have tried to be friends with the Vietnamese people. You know, in general, Vietnamese people are nice, but majority of the Vietnamese people, they're, they do have that racist attitude, okay? Especially Vietnamese um you know, like the Vietnamese men, you know, like some young Vietnamese guys, men, you know, they have that thinking in their mind that, okay, you know, it's okay to, to be a racist. It's okay to, if you see a foreigner who has, you know, dark brown skin, uh, or if he is an Indian, just, you know, treat him uh, like, you know, just treat him poorly. Um, and especially also the Vietnamese girls, okay. Uh, I, I do get this a lot in Ho Chi Minh, like today when I was walking around in District 1, I could see a couple of Vietnamese people, they would just look at me and, you know, they would give me that dirty look, you know, because, you know, how come, you know, most of the Vietnamese people, you know, they're more friendlier to white tourists, you know, um, you think Indian tourists don't have money, there's a lot of Indian tourists who are coming to Vietnam and, I'm sorry to say that um, I don't find Vietnamese people to be friendly at all as an Indian living out here in Vietnam for so many years. Vietnamese people in general are not friendly to foreigners who are especially Indians or who have dark brown skin. If you don't believe me, um, you can watch on YouTube about some Indians about an Indian person um, facing racism in Hanoi. And I've made a couple of videos about racism here in Vietnam. Um, you know, it's nothing new. So there is a problem with the Vietnamese society, okay? Another example would be um, customer service here in Vietnam. You know, like if I go to a coffee shop or if I go to a restaurant or they will be nice to very, they will be nice to white tourists, okay? They will be very friendly. But if I'm going to go, if I want to have a coffee or if I want to eat some food or if I, you know, I will not be getting a, a good, nice customer service. You know, they would be rude to me. I mean, they would not be polite to me. They would be like, xin chào, whatever, you know? So it's, it's a problem. The another example would be if I am using um, Grab, if I'm going on a motorbike or if I'm using grab bike, there are people who drive cars or motorbikes. They will just uh, press, they'll honk, okay? They'll press their horn right in front of my ears, okay? Um, or a couple of Vietnamese 
uh, people like some Vietnamese, if I'm going to be just sitting and eating some food or coffee, there's, there, there may be some Vietnamese guy, uh, he will come and he will just <coughs> cough right in front of me and, you know, uh, it's, it's kind of disgusting, all right? I, I don't want to be rude, but there is a problem of racism here in Vietnam, okay? Vietnamese people are not friendly to all foreigners, okay? Another example is like I'm staying here in the countryside um, in Long An. Two years I've been living here. Um, the neighbors, they're not friendly. They don't want to talk to me uh, because I have brown skin and I'm from India. So most of the Vietnamese people, they don't have good thinking about India. Um, you know, they think India is a very poor country. India is curry. Um, they don't know anything about India. They don't know that Indian economy is very strong uh, compared to Vietnam. And of course, India has like the fourth largest economy in the world. The India is a powerful country uh, in terms of defense. Uh, and, um, you, know, it, it, you know, it's like, just look into that. You know, if you are intelligent, and another example would be like if you go to YouTube, you type, you type Ando on YouTube. There are so many bad videos about India. Okay, they show the bad things about India. They show about people eating dirty food. I have got also a lot of racist comments on my videos from Vietnamese who tell me, uh, you know, we don't like India. We don't like curry. Uh, or, uh, you know, take your curry ass back home or whatever. So it shows that still a lot of Vietnamese, a lot of Vietnamese are very racist, okay? And I don't want the younger generation Vietnamese to be like this, right? It's very sad that the younger generation Vietnamese are not friendly to all foreigners. Say another example would be if you go to a park uh, in Saigon and you sit down, you will see these young Vietnamese students. They want to speak English with only white people, with only white tourists, but they don't want to speak English with uh, with other foreigners. Like if they are, if if it's an African or if it's an Indian foreign, we speak English. You see, you hear me speaking in English, right? Uh, and of course, you don't know anything about me that I did my college from America that I was in Europe for 10 years. I'm pretty well traveled in Southeast Asia, but the fact that I'm Indian and you generalize me and you treat me poorly in Vietnam, we don't do the same for Vietnamese tourists who come to India. We don't do that. In fact, we are the opposite. We are very friendly to Vietnamese tourists who come to India because, uh, you know, we like Vietnam. but. If you do this and if people in my country start treating your, your people in my country like that, it's not good. I mean, we're not stupid. I mean, Indian people know that there is racism in Vietnam towards Indian people, okay? I don't care if it's an Indian tourist. I don't care if it's an Indian expat living in Vietnam for many years. But there is a problem of racism towards Indian people in Vietnam, okay? And it's a sad thing that there's a lot of white privilege out here in Vietnam. You know, like a white privilege means if, if you're a white tourist, okay, or if you're a white foreigner having white skin, you will be treated very nicely in Vietnam. You will get a lot of opportunities uh, you will get easily English teaching jobs. Uh, you will get a lot of opportunities, but it's not the same for other foreigners, especially Indians. Okay, if you're having dark brown skin, um, and you know, like if even if you're an African from, not an African American. Okay, I'm talking about if you are straight from Africa. Okay, if you're from Nigeria or Ghana or whatever other countries you will be having a very difficult time out here in Vietnam. And that's the reason why it's very difficult for, for, for some foreigners 
to live here in Vietnam longer because, because they face racism on a daily basis here in Vietnam, you know. So there is a problem with the Vietnamese people, okay, with the Vietnamese society. And also I'm so sad to see that the younger generation Vietnamese people they're not friendly. They don't want to. They don't want to make friends with uh, with foreigners who are maybe you know who maybe in who have who have brown skin or who are from you know from a classic example like me you know. I've been living for seven years. I don't have a single Vietnamese friend. It's because I am I am a friendly person. I would definitely but. It's simple, like, you know, your country is, in general, it's a racist country, okay? And I'm not, and I don't care what you say about this because I am gonna disable the comment section below. But this is for, this is for my Vietnamese audience and I don't have any, I'm not afraid to talk about this, okay? It's, it's something which I also face on a daily basis. You know, like if I go to if I go to Ho Chi Minh City or, you know, I don't get good service. I don't I don't find people. I don't find your people to be friendly. You know, they don't have the smile. If I sit in a park, I see some Vietnamese people. They will look at me with a very bad face, you know, um, you know, like they think like I'm some fucking uh, uh, garbage or something, you know, or. You know, if I sit in a coffee shop or something, you know, it's, the experience is not good. You know, I always, I get this negative, I get this negative atmosphere, you know, if I'm going to be moving around or here in the countryside or something. So, yeah, there is a problem, you know. Yes, Vietnam is a racist country in general. Not all Viet, I mean, some Vietnamese, there are, they're good, okay, but most of the time I do find like Vietnamese people, they're not friendly. I'm sorry to say this, all right? I'm not a white person, okay? I don't have white skin. Uh, I have dark brown skin and yeah, I'm from India, okay? But um, this is like, it's been there for many years now. And the, uh, the reason, the only solution for this problem, like my African friend, uh, who actually reached out to me regarding his bad experience here in Vietnam. The only solution is awareness. If you are a younger generation Vietnamese, you should create some awareness about this. You should educate your people about this, right? And I think it's so sad, the Vietnamese media, they don't talk about this. They don't talk about racism. Um, it's it's very different. It's very sad, you know. It's just that um, there is there is racism in Vietnam towards Indian people. It is there, okay. Uh, also, sometimes, like for example, if I take Grab, the Grab driver will come, but you know maybe you know he will just give you the helmet or he will talk badly to you. He will not treat me properly, you know. But it, you know, it's this this form of racism is out here in Vietnam, and if you are a social activist, um, and if you feel like you know there is a problem with racism in Vietnam, you should spread the information. You know, I mean, I'm you should you should let you should aware you should you should create this kind of awareness that let people know about this that Vietnam does have a problem with racism especially in major cities like Saigon, Hanoi, um, in the countryside also, I, I mean, I do face it, being living here for two years, um, you know, but of course I mind my business, but the fact is there is racism in general in Vietnam and it's kind of pretty high, okay? You know, other people, don't go by other YouTubers who show you a very, uh, who show you a different picture, who show a different picture about Vietnam, you know, about food, travel, come to Vietnam, retire in Vietnam. You cannot retire in Vietnam, okay? It's very difficult for foreigners to retire in Vietnam if you have problem of racism, okay? 
there is problem of racism here in Vietnam. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm talking from my personal experience, okay, of living here for seven years. Uh, I do love Vietnam. I do consider Vietnam as my second home, but there is problem of racism in Vietnam. So, you know, you need to understand this. The only way is to create awareness, to educate, to let your friends know about this, that there is a problem with, with racism in Vietnam, that not all Vietnam, that not all Vietnamese are friendly to other foreigners, other types of foreigners who may have brown skin, black skin. Uh, you know, it's just, I do see a lot of white privilege here, like, you know, if it's a white tourist, they will get very good uh, good experience in Vietnam, you know, they'll get a lot of friendly Vietnamese, uh, a lot of help from Vietnamese people. But if a foreigner has dark brown skin or black skin, or if he's from Africa or if he's from India, the maybe it, this treatment will be different, okay? And yes, I do feel isolation. I do feel, I do feel like most of the Vietnamese, like if I go to the park, Nobody want to come and talk to me. Nobody want to be my friend. Nobody want to speak English with me. I feel very alone. I feel very sad. And uh, this cannot go on, you know, so you need to create the awareness. And, um, you know, I talk about, you know, this is how, you know, it could be becoming better, okay? I mean, I really want, uh, Vietnam to be like the next Singapore. Like if you look at Singapore, there are a lot of Indians, Chinese, Malaysians, and other nationalities. They live together in peace and harmony. You know, they're all friendly. I mean, they live together. So I really want the betterment. Okay. So this needs to be addressed. Okay. I know it's a very sensitive topic. But, you know, I want to bring this up on my channel because what my African friend uh, experienced in Vietnam, it touched me, okay? And yes, I, there are, there have been racism towards Indians here in Vietnam. And it needs to be properly, I mean, people need to know about this, right? That there is a problem with the Vietnamese society when it comes to racism and that that needs to, racism is not good. It needs to be, it needs to be uh, fixed, all right? It needs to be, um, I mean, it needs to stop, you know? Um, so if you don't know about racism, then you can check it on uh, Google, check it on Wikipedia, <laughs> what is racism, okay? So, but yeah, I'm gonna keep the title of this video in Vietnamese. Try to understand my pain here in Vietnam, living here for seven years. It's not easy. It's very difficult for a person like me living out here in Vietnam for seven years, or even if somebody is from Africa or, you know, like I'm not talking about African Americans or Westerners. I'm talking about who are not coming from America, Australia, Canada, South Africa, UK, you know, because I know they have different experience, okay? But I'm talking about, I'm talking about other nationalities like Indians, you know, how we feel about that. So yeah, I hope you found this video to be informational. The only way this can be fixed is to create awareness, to let your people know that this is not right. You have to reach out. You have to be friendly with all different foreigners. Do not practice racism in Vietnam. It's not going to be good for the future of Vietnam in the long run in terms of tourism. Uh, there is a decline of tourism here in Vietnam. And if you want this problem to be fixed, the Vietnamese people in general have to start being friendly with all different foreigners. So yeah, I'm going to end this video right now uh, with a heavy heart, uh, you know, 
because it's very difficult for me living here for seven years, lack of opportunity. Of course, yes, I do have an online digital marketing thing going on, but you know, like teaching English and all that, it's only for people coming from Western country or if they have white skin, you know, this bullshit needs to stop and all this white privilege, you know, white tourists will be treated very nicely and Indians and black Africans, you know, treat them like garbage. Don't be friends with them. Uh, that's wrong. Okay, that is wrong. So yeah, you guys have a great evening. Uh, this was me, Sue Joy. If you found this video to be informational, you can like this video. You can subscribe to my channel. If you really want to have honest content, um, you know, I'm not like other YouTubers who are just going to promote Vietnam or, you know, travel, food, food, food vlogs. If you look at my YouTube videos, I try to talk about um, the reality, no bullshit, uh, straight up content. Okay. So, yeah. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you found this video to be informational and spread the awareness, right? So this was me, Sue Joy. Have a great evening. Peace out.